Hello everyone, welcome to The Cursing Seamstress. Today is Independence Day, uh, it's Wednesday, um, and in the United States uh, that means that um, it's a federal holiday and federal offices, state offices, local offices are shut down, government offices. And um, so in my little town, surprisingly, um, a lot of businesses are closed and restaurants are closed, fast food restaurants are open. Um, most people are spending their day at the water here. We have a lot of rivers in the area. Um, and um, so, you know, barbecues, the typical kind of um, celebrations. And then in the town that's close to me, there's a usually a fireworks show um, that I do not go to. So um, for no reason other than I go to bed early. And it doesn't get dark until like nine o'clock. But um, anyway, I had a nice lunch with my uh, man friend and he is on his way over and we are going to ride to his cousin's house and see what they're doing. And then he's gonna come over, we're gonna sit out on the porch and we're going to um, do a crossword puzzle. Um, that's about the kind of excitement that um, I'm up to. So anyway, um, I have a, um, a pattern review and it's a positive one. Um, I got this pattern off eBay, I think it was. I actually bought several patterns from a guy on eBay. Um, what led me to search for um, not this pattern, but another pattern, was um, a, uh, it was on Akram's Ideas channel. There was a um, mannequin in the background with the dress on and I sent her a message and asked, asked her what pattern that was. And she told me. And so I searched for it and I found it on eBay. And while I was on eBay, I searched the guy who was selling that pattern and found some other patterns. And, uh, and so got this. So it's a, it's a Hillary Duff. It's a McCall's 5595. It's a baby doll dress, long sleeved option, or actually three quarter sleeve option, short sleeve option, and the option to put pockets in the front or not. Um, I made the short sleeved version. I did not put the pockets on it. Um, here's the line art on the back. It's quite simple. By my measurements, um, I cut a size 18. This came in 14, 16, 18, and 20. I cut an 18, and that was fine. I probably could have done a 16, but I did the 18. Um, and I'll tell you what, um, what I like about the pattern. First of all, it's easy to cut out. It's a Everything's cut on the fold except for the sleeves. So the front and the back are cut on the fold of the upper part, the bodice part. And then for the lower part, they're also the front and the back is cut on the fold. Um, and then um, the sleeves, um, there's elastic, one quarter inch elastic in the sleeves and a quarter inch elastic here, quarter inch elastic in the um, Empire waist. Um, Everything's good about this pattern. The only thing is um, I cut this because it is short. It's short on the model here. You can see it is well above the knee. It is, um, it falls somewhere in the thigh region. Um, so I probably should have even gone longer, but I cut it an extra inch in length. Um, Next time what I'll do, and I'll probably make this again, it, this is for a knit, by the way, which is interesting. Um, and I need to talk more about that. So I cut it an extra uh, inch long. I did not bother using the uh, lengthen line uh, uh, on the pattern. I probably should have done that, and I will do that next time. And next time I'm gonna use that line and cut it about three inches longer. So it falls like right at my knee. The other thing I'm gonna do differently is I'm gonna cut this bodice about an inch longer 
uh, because, and I knew that was going to be an issue once I had the bodice kind of sewn together because it, it hit me like right across the boob area. Um, and, um, and I knew it would be better with, cause I tried it on without a bra. Um, uh, and I knew it would be better once I got a bra on, but yet and still I'm 62 or 63 years old. And, um, I need to go down at least an inch on this, uh, bodice. So, um, other than the length and lowering that bodice an inch, um, it's really a nice pattern for me. I'm going to, I wore this today. This fabric, by the way, I got this over 20 years ago and I made one thing from it. And that was a, a set. It was a shorts, a pair of shorts. It was the same pattern, a pair of shorts and a top that looked sort of like a jacket. It buttoned up the front and it had flaps and pseudo pockets. And I think, it was, uh, I think, three quarter sleeves, or a little bit less than three quarter sleeves. And uh, the shorts, they were not culottes at all, but they were shorts that um, were not tight. They were, you know, loose fitting shorts. Um, and I think they zipped in the back. They were not elasticized at all. And I wore that outfit a lot to work. I made it in the 90s. Um, and it was just a super outfit. Um, and the fabric was really good. I have no idea where I got it. We used to have stores here called Peace Good Stores. Um, and those were still active when I would have, um, during the time that I bought this fabric. Um, so that might be where I got it. It was pre-internet, so I didn't order it online. But um, you can see what it looks like. Um, it's a sort of a movie color wine color maybe with mauve flowers in there and um there's not a lot of stretch and what i was going to say earlier when i started when i was choosing the fabric for this um it did not pass this stretch test there's very little stretch in this knit um so i'm sorry I have to make an adjustment here so i thought about, well, you know, th is this going to work or not? But then I thought, why wouldn't it work? Because there's nothing in this pattern that you really need to have the knit stretch. Y you have the stretch here because of the, um, the elastic, the same thing with the sleeve, same thing here. Um, it's wide enough here that you're not needing stretch in the fabric to sit, you know, and to cover your hip area. So I don't know why this couldn't be made with a, um, with a woven. I don't know why it couldn't be made with a woven fabric. If you see something that I don't see, um, tell me. But um, again, this did not pass the stretch test and it just works great. So, um, so that's what I wanted to say about that. I think that's all. I stitched all of, all of this, I stitched it all with a straight stitch. I didn't use a zigzag stitch. All the pieces matched up well. Um, there was nothing hard about it. It's a very basic pattern. Um, and of course it, it is an older pattern. I don't know the date on here and I don't know if it's 2008. So it's um, 11 years old. But I mean, this, this doesn't go out of style at all. So that's pretty much it. I will stand up and let you take a look at this. Again, it's just a little bit shorter than what I would want, but it's a great summer dress. I wouldn't hesitate in wearing this um, to work. Um, and um, you know, I think it's fine. So hold on and I'll show it to you um, so you can see the full length. Okay, I don't know if you can see all of it. Maybe you can. George is in the way. Um, but this is it. And um, it's a baby doll style. And um, this is the back. I think it's cute. Um, I'm probably too old to, to wear it, but that's okay. Um, it's, it's just nice. And I hope it washes up fine. I'm sure it will because my other outfit did. 
So thank you very much for watching. Have a great Independence Day. Of course, it will have already happened uh, by the time you see this. And um, I will see you later. Bye-bye.